Welcome to the 2018-19 NCAA Men's Basketball Weekly Whistle Video number 11. This is J.D. Collins, the NCAA National Coordinator of Men's Basketball Officiating. As a reminder, officials have been directed to continue our efforts to reduce physicality to create freedom of movement. This weekly whistle will focus on protecting airborne shooters, offensive shooters seeking out defenders, and offensive leg kickouts. Officials are instructed to protect the shooter all the way to the floor. Offensive shooters must have an uninhibited landing spot. Conversely, the offensive player is not allowed to kick his leg out to cause contact with an opponent in an unnatural way. First, we will look at protecting the shooter. The player in blue attempts a normal shooting move and attempts to come back to the floor. Number 22 white defends the play and takes away his landing spot. The player in blue lands on the feet of number 22 white. This is a dangerous defensive play for a shooter and the trail official correctly calls a defensive foul on this three point shot attempt. Number 30 blue pump fakes and gets number 2 white to leave his feet. Number two white is moving forward and toward the shooter. Number 30 blue legally makes a move toward the basket and is correctly rewarded with a defensive foul on number two white. Number zero white is preparing to shoot. Pump fakes and gets the player in blue to leave his feet. The player in blue is coming toward number zero white. As number zero white starts the shooting motion, the player in blue lands on number zero white's foot and makes contact with him. The center official incorrectly rules this play a no call. This is a foul on the player in blue and needed to be called. As a reminder, if a defender is going to make contact with the shooter, the offensive player is entitled to make a move to the basket and any contact is the responsibility of the defender. Conversely, when the defender is not going to make contact with the shooter, the offensive player cannot seek out the defender to make contact. This typically happens when a shooter kicks his leg out unnaturally or seeks out an opponent to the side. In this situation, if contact occurs, it is either a no call or, if egregious enough, a player control foul should be called. We have had an increase in the number of leg kickouts during the 2018-19 season. Let's look at some plays. Number two blue is preparing to shoot. Pump fakes and gets number one white to leave his feet. Number one white jumps to the side of number two blue and was not going to make contact with him. Number two blue attempts to make contact by jumping slightly to his right and kicking his right leg out to the side. The trail official correctly rules this play a no call. We will now look at several different types of leg kickouts. Number 23 black shoots the ball and kicks his right leg out trying to draw a foul. Number 12 gray defends the play and would not have made contact with the shooter had he not kicked his leg out. The trail official correctly no calls this play. Number 3 white shoots the ball and kicks his right leg out trying to draw a foul. Number 11 red defends the play and would not have made contact with the shooter had he not kicked his leg out. The trail official correctly no calls this play. Number two black shoots the ball and kicks his right leg out trying to draw a foul. Number two white defends the play and would not have made contact with the shooter had he not kicked his leg out. The trail official correctly no calls this play. Number 11 blue shoots the ball and kicks his right leg out trying to draw a foul. Number five white defends the play and would not have made any contact with the shooter had he not kicked his leg out. The trail official correctly no calls this play. Number five blue shoots the ball and kicks his right leg out trying to draw a foul. Number 12 white defends the play and would not have made any contact with the shooter had he not kicked his leg out. The trail official correctly no calls this play. Number two white shoots the ball and kicks his right leg out trying to draw a foul. The player in black defends the play and would not have made any contact with the shooter had he not kicked his leg out. The center official correctly no calls this play. We will now look at several plays where the action by the shooter is egregious enough to warrant an offensive foul. 
Number 11 blue shoots the ball and kicks his right leg out trying to draw a foul. Number 20 white defends the play and would not have made any contact with the shooter had he not kicked his leg out. Number 11 blue seeks out number 20 white by kicking his leg and makes sufficient contact with number 20 white for a foul. The trail official correctly rules this a player control foul. Number 10 red shoots the ball and kicks his right leg out trying to draw a foul. Number 34 gray defends the play and would not have made any contact with the shooter had he not kicked his leg out and thrown his arms down. Because of number 10 red's leg kick out, he trips number 34 white and number 34 white falls to the ground. This is a player control foul and needed to be called. Number 5 black shoots the ball and kicks his right leg out trying to draw a foul. Number 0 white defends the play and would not have made any contact with the shooter had he not kicked his leg out. Because of number 5 black's leg kick out, he trips number 0 white and number 0 falls to the ground. This is a player control foul and needed to be called. As you can tell from the plethora of plays in this weekly whistle video, we are seeing an increase in the number of leg kickouts in our game. Officials are instructed to protect legal shooters all the way to the floor. When an offensive player seeks out an opponent, including leg kickouts, officials have been instructed to not reward the offense when the defender is legal. This is a great time of year for everyone that loves college basketball. I hope that this weekly whistle helps inform and educate you about the rules of the game. Thank you for your interest in college basketball.